Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at homogeneous equations and everything you need to know about them. We're going to focus on how to identify them without technical definitions, how to solve them using a particular substitution. Now, if you want more details at a full mathematical level, like proofs, I have my video on my full lecture linked down below in the description, so check that out. This video will be short and to the point. Now, first, there's some technical definitions which we're not going to spend really much time on in this video. The first thing you need is to understand a homogeneous function, which basically says a function of two variables. If we replace or scale the x and y variables each by a factor t, so x being replaced with tx and y being replaced with ty, if it's homogeneous, you can basically factor a power of t out from the whole function. And that definition of a homogeneous function relates back to a homogeneous equation. Again, the full definitions I have in my full lecture linked down in the description. Now, what does homogeneous mean? Something should be the same, right? So let's point out the informal definition or basically what your intuition might tell you. For a homogeneous equation or first order homogeneous differential equation, all the terms are going to be of the same degree. And we're really not going to define that. That's all left to your technical definitions here. Now let's take a look at a few examples so we can make sense of this informal, intuitive idea, all terms being of the same degree. Here's four examples. The first one, notice it's of the form the derivative equals some combination of x and y, and all the x's and y's in the numerator and denominator seem to be each of degree two. You have x squared and y squared in the numerator and denominator. The xy term, both x and y are to the first power, add them, the xy term is like a degree two term. So all the terms in the first example seem to be of the same degree, it's homogeneous. The definitions that you kind of give will make that more precise. All right, the second example, we have a degree one, y to the one, divided by another degree one, x to the one. We can say that term is of degree zero, and that one is also of degree zero. So again, all the terms are of the same degree here. They're all degree zero terms. And that continues through the other examples. Now it's worth pointing out an example that is not homogeneous, very similar to example one, but notice now we have an x cubed, degree three term, xy, which is degree two, and in the denominator, x to the one, degree one. Here, your terms have different degrees. So this one, right from your intuitive or informal definition, is not homogeneous. The terms here are of different degrees. All right, now with that out of the way, let's take a look at how we're going to solve them. There is a substitution that we make, but I wanna show you where it comes from. So let's take a look at a specific example, example one, and let's see if we can rewrite it. So notice here I have x squared in the denominator. I'm gonna divide that into each term in the numerator. So we'll keep the left side as dy over dx. But now I'm gonna write this as x squared divided by x squared, one, plus xy divided by x squared. I can write that as y over x, and the last term, y squared divided by x squared, I can write that as y over x squared. All right, this is just rewriting our differential equation. This is pointing to us maybe trying a substitution. And if you take a look at the terms on that right-hand side, it looks like we find that there's this ratio y over x. And that is connected to the technical definition, something about the function being homogeneous only depending on the ratio y over x. Again, check that out in the full lecture, linked down in the description. But here, this is basically suggesting or pointing to us trying a substitution. And what we're going to try for a homogeneous equation 
is a substitution of the form. Let's call that ratio some variable, u. And we're going to use this substitution, u equals y over x. And as it turns out, that is the substitution that works for a homogeneous equation. And it's going to convert your original homogeneous equation. It's going to convert it into one that's separable. So it converts into a separable ODE, ordinary differential equation. And at this point in your differential equations course, you know how to solve separable ODEs. Now, as it turns out, this substitution, it's written in a form that's not nice to work with. So let's go ahead in the next part, rearrange this into a more useful form, and then also show you where the conversion for the derivative dy over dx comes from. Let's go ahead and get to that right now. Now that we see where this substitution comes from, let's go ahead and rearrange it and rewrite it to put it in a more useful form. Now, you can use it in this form and calculate your derivative du over dx, but you have a fraction or quotient on that right-hand side, and you'd have to end up using the quotient rule. And I don't like using the quotient rule. So let me go ahead and rewrite that by multiplying the x over, and we're gonna get a product instead. So let's write this instead as y equals u times x. And it's important to realize here, since we're assuming y is a function of x, u is a function of x. All right, so we're trying a substitution of the form y equals some function of x times the variable x. All right, and now we can calculate our derivatives. In other words, we're gonna calculate and convert dy over dx into something in terms of du over dx. And here, we just need to now use the product rule. So let's go ahead and work that out. And that's gonna be the other part that we need along with this substitution. So let's go ahead and calculate dy over dx, keeping in mind that u is some unknown function of x. So we're gonna differentiate and get dy over dx. But now the right side, that's where we go ahead and apply the product rule. Differentiate the first function, u is a function of x. We'll write that derivative as du over dx. And that's gonna multiply the second function. So the derivative of the first term times the second. And we add to that the first function, u, times the derivative of the second function. And the derivative of x with respect to x, that's one. All right, now you don't have to go through this every time, but I emphasize this in my differential equations course because once you have this substitution, it comes from the product rule, which now for differential equations is pretty basic. Now we're just going to rearrange and simplify that. I'm gonna rewrite this, dy over dx. I don't like the order here. Let me go ahead and switch the order of multiplication, putting x first. So we'll write that as x times du over dx. And then we have plus u. And that is the other part we need along with this substitution, y equals u times x, which is equivalent to u equals y divided by x. We get this substitution for the derivative of y with respect to x. So let's just go ahead and write down the two things that you're going to use to solve a homogeneous equation. This substitution will convert every homogeneous equation into one that's separable. So your two pieces, you substitute y equals u times x, and then the derivative dy over dx, 
we just work that out here. X times du over dx plus u. And those are the two things you need to know to solve homogeneous equations. All right, now before we end the video, let's go ahead and just quickly apply that to our intro example. We're not gonna work this out in detail. If you wanna see the full solution, check out my lecture linked down below in the description. We'll go through that in detail along with more. But let's go ahead and implement these two substitutions y equals u times x, and then a substitution coming from the product rule for dy over dx. So let's go ahead and just replace that, dy over dx. We're gonna replace that with x times du over dx plus u. All right, and on the other side, while there are no derivatives, there are terms involving x and y. All the y's we're gonna replace with u times x. All right, if we take it term by term, we'll have x squared plus x times ux. We're replacing y with u times x, and then y squared we're gonna square both factors, u and x, and write that as u squared, x squared, and then in your denominator, that's just x squared. All right, and if you go ahead and simplify, notice on this right-hand side, all your terms now contain x squared. So you have x squared plus u times x squared plus u squared x squared divided by x squared. And that x squared in the denominator, you can divide that into each term in the numerator and get it to cancel. And what you'll get for your simplified differential equation, one, x squareds cancel out, leaving you with u. And then the x squareds again cancel, leaving you with u squared. And on the, the left side, we're keeping that the same x times du over dx plus u. And notice what's really nice about this example, which often happens, but not always. You can cancel those u terms out. And what we get is a very simple looking differential equation. We're just left with x times du over dx. And on the right side, we have one plus u squared. And from here, this is now very simple to separate. Let's just go that one last step. We're gonna divide the u terms to the other side. I'm gonna multiply the dx over and then divide by that x. So we'll get one over u squared plus one du. Multiply your dx to the other side and then divide by x. So one over x times dx, and that is separable. And you should be able to solve it from there. Go ahead and integrate both sides. All right, the whole point of this second part was to show first how we can use this rearranged substitution, y equals u times x, to get a nice conversion for dy over dx in terms of du over dx. And then the other important part is how we take both of these and actually use them in a homogeneous differential equation. Hope you enjoyed this video, short and to the point. You might wanna refer back to this as you go through examples. You can just, for all the other problems, immediately plug these in, and we're gonna have problems for solving homogeneous equations also linked down below in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, support the channel. Like and subscribe.